Let's talk about topical authority, how to use it on a local site, and how to use free tools to achieve it. The mistake that I see most sites making is targeting the same keywords on multiple pages and then assuming you're hitting topical authority. For instance, if you have a plumbing site, a lot of times they become hyper-focused on the word plumber, plumbers, and plumbing, and they begin to create content like how to find a good plumber? How much do plumbers cost? What type of shirt does a plumber wear? What color is a plumber's shoes? All right, I made up a couple of those, but I think you get the point. In the URL, they just keep using plumber over and over and over, and they just talk about a plumber, and it's really not achieving topical authority, and it's also causing keyword cannibalization. You can take everything that I'm saying today and apply it across any local site. So let's jump right into ChatGPT and ask it to help us create a website with topical authority on the topic of plumbing. I'm asking it to structure the content in a way that is easy for end users to understand and to provide topics and subtopics. So what ChatGPT then does is give me an introduction to plumbing, plumbing basics. These are the main topics within your topic of plumbing. So introduction to plumbing underneath the subtopic would be overview of plumbing systems, importance of proper plumbing, historical evolution of plumbing. Then we have plumbing basics. You also have common plumbing issues. Now, this is something that a lot of websites will leave out or not do it correctly. And you want to talk about all of the things that the plumbers offer. So common plumbing issues, leaks and drips, clogs and blockages. Those are all subtopics of your main plumbing topic that you need to create content for. And this can be an actually a ton of content because leaks and drips can happen in a number of different pipes in the bathroom, in the kitchen, you name it, a leak can burst or can drip and it needs to be repaired. You've got clogs and blockages. You've got certain types of clogs and blockages. So you can also ask ChatGPT to then further develop your content for the topical map. So common plumbing issues you can break down into residential versus commercial. The topical map is then broken down into plumbing maintenance, regular inspections, tips for winterizing. These are all subtopics within the main topic of plumbing. In the beginning, when I opened up and said, everybody's getting this wrong, these are the two pieces they start and stop on the websites. I'm not meaning they have two pieces of content. Content. I'm meaning they go down the rabbit hole for tips for hiring plumbing services and they create about 20 different pieces and then they kind of stop and say I've hit my topical authority limit when honestly you've only scratched the surface and this chat GPT shows you how it's only scratching the surface importance of compliance within your city and state all of those codes and regulations are different from state to state city to city those are all things that can be added to help with your topical authority. Now the list goes on and on and I won't read all of this off. My point was to show you that you can use a free tool to help you come up with a topical authority map for your subject. If this is confusing for you or you have overload of information, you can also ask ChatGPT to put this more into of a form of a diagram. Now if you want to get really fancy and you have the paid version of ChatGPT, you can and add on a plugin that will it will create beautiful diagrams for you so that you can use it and hand it off to your content writers. Honestly, when you are writing for topical authority, it goes on and on with the amount of subtopics that you can hit that are still within your actual topic. Now, if you want to use Bard, you can do the exact same thing. Bard broke this down into residential plumbing and under residential plumbing, they have leak repair. Now, how ChatGPT served up the information and how BARD serves up the information. I prefer BARD. I think in the long run, BARD is going to win the AI race. Another free tool that is fun to use is answerthepublic.com. You can search for plumbing, plumbers, plumber, whichever search word you think works best, and then take a look. You're allowed to do up to three searches a day for 
free. Pl are plumbing issues covered under insurance? That's a really good topic for residential and even commercial plumbing. These are great content ideas that people are asking about plumbing. You can use any of these to add to any of the AI topical maps that were given and pieces of content that you can come up with to fit within your topical map. Let's take a look at an actual plumbing site that I do not own or work on. And let's look at the type of topics that they're talking about. All right. So the first thing you'll notice that they, uh, they offer all of their services. They also offer all of the areas that they serve. All right. If I click on sewer cleaning and then scroll down, you can see some of the topics within the sewer cleaning. And it's all about sewers and drains. So sewer system repair, sewer system replacement are all subtopics within the plumbing topic. Plumbing camera inspections, that is also a subtopic of their main topic. These are all within their actual topic. And it's also services that they offer. If you take a look at their blog, you can see they have water heater maintenance and tips. This is one of their subtopics under water heaters. What is a pressure reducing valve? That is a great subtopic of your main topic under plumbing. Sewer maintenance and repair tips. That is something that ChatGPT and BARD had within their topical map. You can see why they're writing about them and you can see where they were located on the actual topical authority map that was written out for us. They talk about leak repair and this is what it looks like on the actual site. So you see how we begin to combine the sources of the information we were pulling from all of the free tools and, and add it directly to the website.